Hello, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to design one of these parts. And this is called a branch connection. And when you look at this part at first glance, it looks like you can create it with a revolve. And that will be right. But then at the bottom, so let's look at this part, for example, at the bottom, you can see that the tra there's a transition between the front view and the right view. And it is not a revolve. So I'll show you how to make that part. So, so I've created the part as an example. So I have a sketch. I've created a sketch for this part. Download it from the description so you can follow along. If you look at the front plane, this is what the profile looks like on the front plane. And on the right plane, this is what the profile looks like. Let's go back to the front plane and let's start a new sketch. Select your front plane and sketch. Let's draw a line and all we are going to do is just draw a line to the point, to that point. I'll draw another one to this point. Over here, I'm just going to draw a line sticking out. Draw another line coming this way and I'm going to connect it over there. I have an extra line there and I'm just going to trim that out. And now I can select this line at a vertical relation. Select this line and that point and make them coincident. Select this line and that line and add a collinear relation. So you should have a fully defined sketch and come to feature. Revolve. We're going to revolve it and Change this to 180 and click OK. That's the first thing we need to do. When we look at it, you should see that your part should be following the sketch. And that's what you want. If I go to the right view, the part is following the sketch. All we need to do now is to cut the pieces we don't need out of it. Let's go back to the front view. And I'm going to draw another sketch on the front plane. Select the front plane and so start another sketch. And this time I want you to select the three point arc. So we're going to start on this point. Make sure you are on this view. Select this point. Select the second point And just click anywhere up here. And now just rotate your part so you can see this back side. Holding down the control key, select this arc you just made. And you want to select this back point. It's the last point, the bottom one, select that. Holding down the control key, select both and add a coincident relation. But now we have a fully defined sketch. And we are going to exit out. And now what we need to do is come to your feature tab on that curve, select project curves. And we want to select that line, the sketch we just made. And we want to select this back plane. If you don't see, just press your reverse projection. So it's going to show you that projection and click OK. So that's the first thing we need to do. And we need to do the same thing for these two points. A good way to do that is you can um, select this space and uh, select reference geometry plane. So what we just did is we offset that plane down. 0.5 is good and click OK. Now we are going to draw some sketch on that plane. Select that plane. Select that plane and start a sketch. We are in the sketch mode on that plane. What we need to do now is to select this point. Make sure you are selecting the outside point. The first point on the outside, select that. Press convert entity. And come to this side. The next point on the outside. Let me rotate it in a way where you can see it. So it's the next point on the outside, which is the last point. 
if you look at it, there's like three points on the corner. So we want to select the outside point and convert entity. Then we want to come to this side and select the outside point and convert entity. So we have those three points on our plane. Come to feature. No, not feature. I'm still in your sketch tab. Select it. Um, ellipse. That's what we want. Select ellipse. Um, click your origin point, drag it out, click and drag it up. The next thing we want to do now is um, add the relation between this ellipse and that point. So select this point, holding down the control key, select both those two points, make it coincident, and select this point and that back point we made on our sketch and make it coincident. So your ellipse should be fully defined. Draw a line connecting both like so, and trim the excess part out and you can delete your line cause we don't need it. So just delete the line and you should have something like this. Then come to your surface, extrude surface and we want to extrude this. We want to extrude it up. Let's give it a dimension of three and click okay. Good. So now you should have something like this. Now let's select the front plane and sketch. And again, we want to draw a three point arc on this bottom outside point. So we we'll select that first point, select the second bottom outside point and just click anywhere up here. And now just rotate it this way. Now we want to select that arc, the arc we just created holding down the control key. And you want to select the outside point down here as well. So just remember there's like a common uh, pattern we are using. We are selecting all the outside point on all three sides. So we select this outside point, that and that. So once you select that holding down the control key and your act add a coincident relation. So if I go number two, your sketch should be fully defined. Then come to exit your sketch. Then feature curves, project curve. So select that line and select this um, surface we created earlier. And if you don't see that curve, press reverse and you should see it over here and click OK. Next, we are going to do the same, repeat the same process for the inside point. Um, we'll start by the, on this face, this plane, we'll start a sketch. And again, remember, we'll click the inside point, convert entity, inside point, convert entity, and uh, it's right here, inside point. So if I go, and another thing you can do is you can just rotate it until you see it. If you look, this is the inside point. And I'll select convert entity. So I have all three points on the plane. So now I can come to my ellipse, select my origin point, click once, drag it out, click and drag it up and click. Now I can add the constraint this point to that point and add a coincident. Now at this point, I don't know if you can see it right there. So that black point, coincident. So I have a fully defined sketch. So I'm going to draw a line to close it so I can trim the one part out and I can delete that line because I don't need it. So now again, I'm going to come to surface, extrude that up three 
and click OK. Take note, we have two now. The, the new one we just created is the one on the inside. So again, we'll come to the front, our front plane and we'll draw a sketch. So let me go normal two. This time we want to select the two points we used to create that on the inside. So we'll draw a three point arc. Select the first point. So let me try that again. Three point arc. Select the first point. Select the second point. Bring it somewhere up here and just click for now. Holding down the control key, select that arc. And we want to select the inside point. Right there, the inside point. And now the coincident. And we have a fully defined sketch. Exit the sketch. And come to feature tab, curves, project curve. And while the sketch is selected, we want to project that curve on this inside surface and reverse it to see it and click OK. We have all the three curves we need for the transition of our part. If you look now, you can see that we are actually creating, slowly creating the profile for our part. So that's good. The next thing we need to do is we can delete this because we don't need it. Come to the insert feature, delete body, and we'll just select those two surface and delete. And we can also hide this plane because we don't need it. And the next thing we need to draw now is this profile because we are going to be sweeping it. So we need to draw this profile. This next part, click on your front plane and select sketch and draw a line. And it is important, even though we are trying to create this profile, um, draw a line that comes from this point to this point and to that point. And instead of clicking on the third point, don't click on the third point, just click somewhere in here. And now select the end point of that line and select that first curve. So I'm going to select this point, hold down the control key, select this curve and select PS. It is important to do this because you might have some error if you don't do this. So select the PS. So again, we'll draw a line from this point and we'll select the end point of that line to this and PS. And we can draw a line from here up and select that point and that line. I mean the end point of the line and the curve and PS. So that's what you want. So we have something like that. Accept your sketch. And the next thing we need to do is just draw a circle up here to sweep this around. We need our path. So click on this top face. Um, sketch number two. So I'm going to draw a circle, something like this. And select that circle and select the end point of that line. Make it coincident. Again, we'll draw a line that is half of that circle and trim the other half out and delete that line. We're going to accept that sketch. Now we can hide our sketch one and sketch two. Now you can really see the profile of what we made. We made this profile and we made the curve. So now all we need to do is come to feature, no, come to surface, Swap surface for our profile. We will select the line. The you can select it on the screen, or you can come down to the drop down and select sketch eleven. Or mine's a sketch eleven, but yours might be different. So you want to select the sketch of this profile, 
and for the path we want to select this circle up here and for the guide curve um select these three curves so you select the first one select the second one and select the third one and so you should have something like this and click ok um if i right click on this solid body and hide it you will see the surface we just create is right underneath so that's exactly what we want because we are going to use this surface to cut the pieces we don't need out of that part I'm going to right click again to show my solid body now on that the surface tab select cut with surface and we want to select our surface and if the arrow is pointing in you want it to reverse it to cut it to the outside because we are trying to cut everything on the outside of that surface not on the inside so make sure that your arrow is pointing down like so and click ok and there you go and now we can delete our delete our surface body because we don't need it because if i hide this our surface body is still there so i'm just going to show that again we are going to delete that surface body so come to insert uh, feature delete body and we want to delete that surface swap surface and click ok and again for our guide curve we can hide it so just right click on those curves and and hide it so just click the high button to hide it so we're almost done the next thing we need to do now is just to mirror it come to feature mirror body to mirror we want to mirror the entire body on the plane we want to mirror it by this face and click ok and that is how you create this part and as you can see you can see how the profile transitions around the part that it is not revolved and the next thing we want to do is we can add a fillet so we can add a fillet here click ok and from here on out if you want to make it a threaded part you can add your thread up here with the whole wizard if you want to make it a butt weld you can cut your butt weld in and if you want to make it a socket weld you can also just cut so for this part we can make it a socket weld select that face uh, select sketch and let's just draw um, a circle up here so i'm gonna try that again draw a circle getting a glitch so and try that again circle there you go and i'm just going to make it a number i'll give it like maybe 1.4 and come to feature extrude cut want to extrude cut down let's try 0.5 yeah that seems like a good number and click OK. And if I section it, that is what it looks like. Anyway, that is how you create this part. It is a little bit advanced, but at least I want to show you. And in this tutorial, you'll learn how to um, create project curve and use it to create a surface. And we use that surface to cut this profile into this part. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.